In this video, I will show you how to sell a digital product using the Web Starts Store app. You can see here I've created an ebook and it's on my website and I want to sell it. So let me show you how to do that. Once you're logged into your Web Starts account, go ahead and click on the Store app. That will open the Manage Store modal and click on Add Your First Product to add your first product. I'm adding a title to my ebook along with a description. Now I'm going to add an image. I've already uploaded this image of my book, so I'm going to add it as my image. I'm going to skip video and I'm going to give my book a price. Now I'm going to enable my digital delivery options. I'm going to start with my download link text that's going to say click here to download your ebook now. This is where I can enter the link where my file exists or upload my file. I'm going to upload a file. I've already uploaded this PDF so I've now attached it to my product. And then lastly, I'm going to add some download instructions. When you're ready, click Create, and your product is now created. Going back over to my Web Start Store, I click Edit Site to edit the pages of my site. I choose my Store page from the drop down menu and then I make sure that my store settings are what I want so for this example I want to use one column and one row I want my image to fit in terms of scaling and that's about it because I'm just selling the one product so I'm changing some of the with the appearance settings right there when you're ready click Save you can view this by clicking View Site. And now, when people go to my website, they can add the ebook to their cart and they can proceed to check out. One thing I like to do is click on Settings and put my account into test mode instead of live mode. And what that does is it allows me to check out on my cart without actually charging a card. And that will give you an opportunity to see what it looks like when somebody completes an order. I'm just going to enter in a fake card number along with a fake expiration date and CVV2 number. I click submit to, cl to submit my order and now here I have my link where I can download my ebook and I'm also transmitted a receipt. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own online store, blog, or website.